Major Slack Attack. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Attack here for stuff for titillating tactical Elden Ring gameplay. We're playing as a samurai. Here is my status screen. For those of you who are new to the walkthrough, and here are our main weapons: Bloodhound's Fang plus nine and the Longbow plus seventeen. You got a big to-do list here. Uh, the most important item we are going to collect in today's video is the Twin Sage Glintstone Crown which will bump up our intelligence by six which means that if we lose um, a rune arc and we will <laughs> no I know some of you do lose the rune arc from time to time but this will safeguard against um, not being able to cast the scholars armament spell and the scholars shield spell in case you lose a rune arc and there are other situations which where we simply won't have the benefits of the rune arc. I'll explain about that later. All right. For now, I want to correct uh, a little oversight I made in the Altus Plateau. I want everybody to go to Altus Highway Junction. All right, Altus Highway Junction, and pick up a golden seed that I forgot. I t I was totally under the impression I already got this, but I was thinking of my prisoner walker. Posted a comment about that. Getting my walkthroughs mixed up here. <laughs> okay, there it is. And this will give us four golden seeds. There we go. Question. If you had to use a default... Okay, if you have to pick a class, and you had to use that class's default starter weapons throughout the entire game, which class would you choose? Post a comment. I know what I'd answer. Without a doubt, hands down, I would answer Samurai. Definitely. Um, yeah, post a comment. If you had to use the default starter weapons throughout the entire... Has anybody ever done that, by the way? Used, like, just picked a class and not gotten any other weapons, just, you know, level up all the default weapons, whatever they may be, to plus 25, and then just use that to beat the game. Anybody ever done that? <laughs> and if you had to do that, which class would you choose? Post a comment. Um, add a charge. We have four golden seeds. Can't do. Very good. I just want to make sure I don't have any spare sacred tears kicking around. No, I don't. And we're good. And let me just pass the time till noon. Yeah, I go samurai all the way. Yesterday I was running a little experiment build on my PS4. Um, I wanted to see... Okay, first of all, let me explain where we're going. We are going north. Okay, we're going north to this broken bridge here. We have business there. Alright, so we're just going to follow the road north. Yeah, I was running a little experiment build yesterday on my PS4. Um, the experiment was to only upgrade the longbow and nothing else. And I didn't level up any attributes whatsoever okay all I did was upgrade the longbow I didn't level up any attributes and I wanted to see how deep I could push it to the game with simply a leveled up longbow and I was amazed I was amazed that with just applying a little strategy and doing some you know some sniping and whatnot you could get really deep in the game with just the upgraded longbow seriously Seriously, longbow rocks. Totally rocks. In my humble opinion. Okay, we got some enemy activity off to the, the left here. We'll just ignore that. And these guys look like they want a spanking. Nothing personal, guys. <laughs> Two for one. Awesome. Alright. And these guys as well. Let's just take them out. Kicking ass here, boss. You. All right, time for some nice, happy thoughts from the finger reader. All right, you know the routine. Keep it above the equator. You, please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Alright, go for it. Oh, bless 
you. <sighs> to the east. Ruins of gold. To the west. The serpent's sacrilege. <sighs> Wherever the path leads, so shall you follow. Wherever the path leads, only more sorrow. <sighs> Tis a curse. A curse. The curse of Queen Marika. <laughs> My god, you're just full of joyous tidings, aren't you? Okay. I mean, like I said, some more nice happy thoughts from the finger reader. We have an important merchant here. Let's just discover this site of grace here. We're coming back here later. We have a lot of important business to do. Uh, quick tour. This is not to, um, you know outline every single thing in this area that's impossible so a lot of you guys are gonna, you're gonna get this you're gonna get that this is like an immense open world game yeah i mean like i have to prioritize and i can't comment on every single thing in the area i will comment though that this is the altus the old sorry the altus tunnel or the old altus tunnel let me check my notes here altus tunnel that's it the old altus tunnel is somewhere else yet yeah, we're definitely coming back there um up here. If you follow this up here, this tower right here, right on the edge of the cliff, that's where the Great Bow is. Uh, the two windmill villages are here. Uh, we have a way gate here. If you take this way gate, this will take you across this broken bridge from here all the way over to here. That's exactly what that's going to do. And finally, the main reason we came here was to do business with this merchant. Oh, am I, I terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? Yes, we are indeed. And we're going to purchase this baby right here, the Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook 2. And this will allow us to craft lightning pots. And lightning pots are very effective against those abductor virgins, those iron maiden, iron maiden things. So yeah, we definitely want this. This is a good investment. And some other items of note that this guy has. He has a good tower shield. Okay, this is like 100 physical damage indication and 67 guard boost, which I believe is the highest guard boost you're going to get on the default, by default on a shield. It's equivalent to the tower shield that you find in Stormville Castle. So you could actually get this before the one in Stormville Castle, but you have to be 3,800 bucks for it. And a few other items here. All right, that's that. I'm afraid of very. Next, um, crystal darts. When everybody you go back down to the bottom of Lyurnia, to Lyurnia Lakeshore. All right, Lyurnia Lakeshore. Off we go. So we can now make lightning pots. So we've already collected a lot of um, the ingredients to do so. Uh, but first. Grab some butterflies, and this guy has a cookbook that we want as well. The Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 11. And this will allow us to make crystal darts. Okay, so everybody grab that. Done and done. Alright, so let's do some crafting. Fulgur Bloom. We collected a lot of that earlier, just... Where was that? Um, I believe it's on the west side of Sorcerer's Isle, right there, if I recall correctly. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. There's a whole bunch of Fulgur Bloom there. That's where we got that. All right, so we can use that to make some lightning pots. Let's make some of those right away. Let's say five. Done and done. And let's make a whack ton of crystal darts. Done and done. 
Next, the Rooney. What do we do next, Mr. Laptop? Mr. Laptop says we did that, did that, did that. Oh yeah, the intelligence and faith, not crystal tears. Um, first of all, just looking at my cash flow here, seven thousand seven hundred forty-four, seven thousand seven hundred seventy-four. That's good. All right. Um, couple of important crystal tears that we can use in our flask of wondrous physic first one is the faith not crystal tear and we could also pick up the demi humans queen staff all right so right at here is the weeping peninsula right at the north tip of weeping peninsula is the church of pilgrimage we've already been there we're ready to go there now At least one person complained that they did not get a glintstone staff from that wandering mage. Right near Waypoint Rune Cellar. He's wandering around right here. I don't know how that could be. I tested this five times yesterday with a brand new character. Every single time I got a glintstone staff out of him. But just in case you didn't get one we're gonna go get the demi human queen staff and we're gonna get the faith not crystal tear All right so here we are at the church of the pilgrimage um everybody get your longbow up and running and we're gonna run down the left side here looking for a safe place to drop down oh hello Okay, this is poison flower territory. Well, that's enough. Yeah, there's one right there. Okay, so as soon as we get it activated, it's going to bombard us with a whole bunch of magic attacks. You have to be careful of that. I think the best thing to use on these things is firebone arrows. Okay, so acquire target. I'd say three mighty shots and then get ready to dodge back as he rains holy magic hell down on you. Okay, so here we go. One. Two. Three. And four. Okay, just keep going until he does that thing there. Five. Here he comes. Nope. Might be able to stagger lock him. Here he comes. Lock off. And just because he always like targets your current location, so you just have to dodge out of the way. And I love setting these things on fire. Okay, so let's go clear the way. Let's take our take care of his little minions here. Who the what now? It fell short. What talismans do I have on? Okay, I don't know how that happened. There we go, yeah, that's, that's more like it. Alright, having done that, double jump up here, and we're gonna make our way down here. This is a safe drop. Get some Trina's Lily for those of you who burned through some of your Trina's Lily trying to take down Godskin Noble. Does anybody watch the um there's another Trina's Lily? The world record speed run for a glitchless run through Elden Ring. Glitchless. This is not using the um the wrong warp glitch just is just straight through the game is now maybe it's been maybe it's even better now but the last time I checked this was about a week ago is now one hour and seven minutes one hour and seven fucking minutes to beat Elden Ring no glitches it's insane 
That guy's that guy's run absolutely insane. Anyways, what brought that to mind was this guy takes out Godskin Noble with the default samurai sword, the Uchi Katana. It's it's upgraded to plus three, okay? Just like this. It's upgraded to plus three. And he uses three he uses three sleep pots and that. And he takes down Godskin Noble. He he takes down Godskin Noble like he's making a bologna sandwich. Like it's no big deal. It's absolutely it's it's a very technically tell you the truth, it's a very humbling experience to watch him do that. It's like <laughs> it's unbelievable. And check it out if you have a chance. It's unbelievable. Yeah, very humbling experience to see him do that. It's like, you know. Here we are like struggling with like plus nine weapons and you know level one hundred characters and this guy is like la di da and he's chatting while he's doing it too. It's like, you know, no big deal. Okay, so that's what we want right there. Here it is. The Faith Not Crystal Tear. Boom. Okay, so slap that in your Flask of Wondrous Physic and it'll raise your faith attribute by five points for three minutes as long as the wondrous physic is active now everybody get out on your bloodhounds fang get your sneak on i'm gonna go into this area here okay show you the map where i am okay this is the demi human queen runes i forget what's called demi human something runes anyways we're going after this big bad girl right here if you take her out right away, um, all the other demi humans in here will freak out and then cower in fear. So go straight after her. I'm, I'm assuming it's a her. And just do a Bloodhounds combo. There we go. You got yourself the demi human queen staff. Exact same attributes as the Glintstone staff. Anyways, I'll check it out later. Just want to show you these. They're all cowering in fear now. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of that scene in Apocalypse Now, you know, or at the end of Apocalypse Now, where Martin Sheen takes out uh, Colonel Kurtz. And then all his minions bow down to him, you know, because like, Oh my god, you're the new god now. Yes, I rule. I rule. What's this place called? The Demi-Human Force Runes. I love seeing these guys cower. It's like so funny. Just, uh... I almost feel sorry for them killing them, but you know, not that sorry. That way. Here we go. Alright, so here we go. Demi Human's Queen Staff requires 10 intelligence and 6 strength. So, boom, everybody's on the same page now. If you were not lucky enough to get a Glintstone Staff, you know how this. And that's that's guaranteed. Guaranteed. Don't tell me you didn't get one. <laughs> because it's scripted. <laughs> okay. That's guaranteed. And our work here is done. Next. We did that, we did that, uh, the intelligence not crystal tier, this is going to be a bitch. Um, because now we have to go into the land of the hands. Alright, everybody go up to the north end of Ly Lake of Lyurnia. Right here, the ravine, okay, at the mouth of the big ravine that leads you up to, um, the secret tunnel that leads you into the Altus Plateau, right? The ravine side of grace. Let's wait till daytime. And 
the intelligence not crystal tear is buried deep in this dark little woods right here this is the land of the hands and there's a particularly big badass hand that will grab you manhandle you <laughs> pardon my pun and uh spit you out and leave you like just short of death it's it's absolutely hellacious but i got this little procedure to run in and grab it and run out all right so we're gonna get that and there is a somber smithing stone floor we can get on the way and i'm going to show you the night the best approach to go get this intelligence not crystal tier okay let's do it right in here oh there's a shroom grab the shroom and right on this guy here grab yourself the somber smithing stone four and just kind of follow the cliffs on the um, right side here rooms okay just above there there are a whole bunch of wolves pack of wolves you'd be best advised to take them out because as we're coming out or even as you're going in sometimes they follow you in and it's a pain in the ass dealing with them so let's just back off here get our bow take care of this guy whoops wrong wrong ammo here but Watch it now. Hey, watch it. You want to be like that, eh? There right, you go. Alright. These guys. Go after the Alpha Wolf first. And if they come at you, get out your Bloodhound's Fang. Get ready to guard counter. It's amazing, eh, how, you know, you know, I'm a pretty advanced, got vigor is pretty high. And a pack of wolves can still pick away at you and, like, pretty much destroy you in a few seconds if you're not careful. like you know I think I figure up to 36 health is what you know well over a thousand up to 1200 and yeah never underestimate the game I was reading a lot of the comments of uh, I asked the question in the previous video was that over on my prison walker anyways yeah what was your most frequent cause of death And uh, yeah, it's amazing to see a lot of you guys have the same same stuff that I deal with a lot. You know, fumble fingering, gravity, or just like you know, getting overconfident with a bunch of you know regular enemies, and then they gang up and you do you in before you know it. Okay, so those guys are out. Okay, make sure you come here during the day and if it's foggy it's not really a good idea to come here so right yeah that's just exactly where you want to drop in okay so drop in carefully and we're going to push up on the right side here oh, grab some crystal bud there okay so it's exactly where you want to be all right and if you look to the west right there there it is that's the intelligence not crystal tear now as soon as you get in this area this big giant gigantic hands gonna pop out and if you're not quick you got a hell of a fight hell of a fight on your hands so what we're gonna do is we're gonna speed run in grab it and then as soon as we grab it you're gonna double jump your way out that's the best way to avoid him okay 
So here we go. I missed it. Oh. Okay, if you do this, if that happens to you, you missed it, bail out, circle back around, and go for it again. Got it. Double jump out. Go here, double jump up here, and you should be safe at this point because he usually doesn't follow that far. And this little hand right here, take him out so that you'll be out of combat. And let me just see if I go back to the Church of Ella. There we go, it's we bailed out. And mission accomplished. Alright, so that's done. So we have the Intelligence Not Crystal Tear and the Faith Not Crystal Tear. So now we have more options. Currently we have the Strength Not and the Dexterity Not, but we could swap these out for like, you know, bump up our Intelligence or bump up our Faith. As the case may be, leave it at in leave it at strength and dexterity for now. Next, um, back to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Let's go to the Queen's Chamber, Rhea Lucaria Grand Library. Okay, everybody, go there. And we're eventually going to do a little rooftop run. Um, but first, let's set this up. Hey, Queenie. Nothing personal about that fight before, eh? Okay. Everything good? And what time is it? Late day? I don't want to be late day. I want to be nice and bright. Alright, to set up this run, I just want to open up the uh, the back door. So we're going out this way. And there's a mage right here. Easy way to take him out is just... Mighty shot. Zoom in on his head. And do him in. Alright. Take out all these guys. Get yourself a golden rune four. And we're pushing down this way. We got a couple of mages here. If we could just zoom in, use the precision aim, aim for the head, mighty shot. And it's an instant kill. Two, and go over this side. Get a nice shot on this guy. Mighty shot. Aim for the head. And that's three. Okay, and there's a mage down here that you see. There, oh no, this guy right here. We he just like sneak out. There we go. And I wonder if I have time to switch over to. Oh, I don't have any fire pots. Let's try lightning pots on these guys. Oh, dude. <laughs> what a shocking experience, eh? Yeah. Out! Ow, ow, ow!
Come up here and fight like a man. Okay. Um, let me switch over to... There we go. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> That's enough out of you. Alright. And... We have to jump over here and get down to open the back door. Best thing to do is go off to the, the left side here and jump over here. That way you can get, a, get kind of covered from this guy. Wait till he shoots and then go out. Okay, that wasn't as smooth as I would have liked, but uh, you get the idea. Alright, and... Open this door. And now we can come back here to this area. This will allow us onto the rooftop. Alright, so that's this run. And just off to my left here is the Iron Maiden. Oh, it's actually right ahead. Alright, but we're going to take care of that first thing next run. So, fast travel back to the debate parlor. And we are done. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, post a comment, tell your friends about my channel, and I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.